Yes, let's start. Welcome once again. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry is a ministry of deliverance and healing. And our ministry is based on deliverance. That's why we, we are very unique. Many people, they don't understand us and they, they don't like our prayers. But this is the, the prayers that you, you need it because it's a, a prayer of deliverance. You have been in the church where you have been abused, where you have nothing, you don't know what to, what to happen, where you have been suffering, tormented, and you have no idea what to do. As, I'm, I'm, as our ministry is based on deliverance, we deal with the things that you will never hear from judges. The churches, they have nice prayers. The churches, they have their own style of preaching. But all in all is about Jesus. Now, our ministry is based on deliverance. I got the deliverance. I was in the church. I was in the ministry. I was a minister, but I didn't know anything to do with the deliverance. I said, I thought that once you are saved, you everything you are delivered but there's there's what we call deliverance that you need to deal with them so many things i didn't know although i went to the best college i went to the to the, to the seminar i i attended christian i i did everything but i didn't know until the heaven has to reveal to me what is the what is deliverance through the grace of god i've been started i've studied a lot of books to learn more about deliverance welcome once again the topic i'm going to talk to you is called dangerous time of development attacks in sleep they are dangerous dangerous time when the enemy divides you in sleep when the enemy attacks you in sleep when you well when you are sleeping the enemy comes and attack you and attack you and defile you and 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 pollute you and destroy your life put sickness on you in the sleep the time the time you are, while you are sleeping is very dangerous that's why you need before you go to sleep you have to make sure that you have done your midnight prayer you have stopped the enemy from polluting you from defiling you make sure you don't watch dirty films or 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 videos because these are the very things that enemy could use against you now when you look at the book of matthew 13 verse 25 the book of matthew 13 25 the bible is is, is saying but while the men slept while the men slept his enemy come and saw tears among the wits and went his way so while you are many sleep, it is when the enemy operates and run away and leave and and lay and leave and go away. The enemy comes at night to to operate and do evil and run away. The enemy comes at night and pollute you and devile you and run away. After he has done everything to you, he runs away. Then he leaves sickness and diseases in your body. He comes and molested you. He comes and divide you. He comes, he sends the agents to come and sex you at night. You have sex intercourse at night. You have demon molesting you. You have demon uh, molested, ma, 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 masturbationing you. You have different faces coming at night. You might see the face you know. You might see not the, the face you don't know to come and really defile you and do wicked things and leave you. When you wake up, you are sick. You feel even your private parts pain. It comes, even some women, there are some strange children or strange creatures come and shock your breast, suck your breast. When you wake up, you feel your breast pain and that's why, and that's why many kids uh, uh, cancer pressed some of you you come the animals animals comes and sex you cats cats the cats dogs animals 
when they sex you you find when you you, you wake up you you are sick they bump witchcraft in your body some of you animals come and fight you snake come and fight you and leave you they are polluting your blood that's why you need to know all this in the sleep dangerous time in the sleep when the enemy comes to attack you they attack you and leave you hopeless that, then problem starts right from there some of you you don't even wake up some of you, you there's some people they die in a few days because of this dangerous time attacks in sleep uh, the bible says that while men sleep the enemy comes and, and, and plant evil seeds and run away. The reason why many people prayer are not answered or nothing happens is because of development. Is because of what the enemy has done to you. And you have no idea what to do. You can pray the, the enemy has make you that it, he has that your body he has and make your body to be unclean and holy. You you are unholy because of the what the damage the enemy has done while you are sleeping. The enemy has done damage, so God cannot use you. God cannot even look at you because of what the enemy has done to you the whole of night. When you wake up, you feel angry. You feel sad. You feel sick. Because of what happened. Some of you, you don't know what happened. Because you are done, you don't dream. You dream, but you don't know. Some of you, you dream good dreams or bad dreams. But when you wake up like this, it's shut. It is gone. You can't even think. You can't remember what you dream. The major agenda of, of development is to make you unclean, dirty, pushing heavens away from your blessings. Is to make heaven is to push heaven away is to push heaven this this the the, the 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 reason why the enemy is coming to defile you to make you dirty to plant evil things in you is to push your heavens away from you is to block you from things of god it's better to to be aware and know what the enemy is doing in your life the book of Leviticus, Leviticus 11 verse 44, the Bible says, For I am the Lord your God. You therefore sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be holy. For I am holy, neither shall ye divide yourself with any manner creeping things that grieve it upon the heart. You know, God is looking pure, holy, to, to be used. But don't let anything defile you. Don't let anything defile yourself. Don't let anything to defile you. You can see this. Hallelujah. You see that the Bible is saying here, Leviticus 11 verse 43, it says, For I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourself, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall ye divide yourself with any manner of creeping thing that grieveth upon the heart. You know, these are the things that make people to be unclean. Things that, that, that manner of things creeping in the, in the heart. Things like creeping in the heart. God does not want anybody to have sex with the animal. But now in your dream, the enemy comes, bring enemy. The enemy creep, bring uh, uh, animals to, to have sex with you. The enemy bring dirty things which God has refused, which God does not want to, to defile you, to pollute you, to make you dirty. Remember, God is holy. God is holy. God, the Bible says God is holy. So we need to be holy as him, as he is holy. Therefore, the enemy knows, the devil Satan knows, witchcraft knows that if you are holy, God will use you and you will get the blessings from God and you will be close to God. So the enemy comes 
at night while you are sleeping and make sure that he takes everything from you because of ignorance. We have to wake up and come against every dreams and stop every dreams that defile your body. Every dreams that come to you and while you are sleeping and, and attack you, you, even if you don't remember your prayers, your, your dreams, you don't remember what happened to your night, wake up and fire prayer that would stop every evil dreams or good dreams to manifest in, the, in due time. Command the devil. That's why morning is very important to command the morning. That's why, like now, is we, we are studying the month, the month of February. You command the month of February by the authority and the power. I command you the month of February. Anything programmed in you against me and my family, I destroy them. Any demon, any witches and wizard that will come to my sleep while I'm sleeping this man shall die, shall be destroyed, shall render the powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, let's look in the book of 2 Corinthians 7, verse 1 to 2. 2 Corinthians, verse 1 to 2. 2 Corinthians 7, verse 1 and 2. The Bible says, Therefore, beloved, since we have this promise, let us cleanse ourselves from everything that divides the body and the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Make room for us in your hearts. We have longed no one. We have corrupted no one. We have exploit, exploit, exploit no one. Now, here, the Bible says, Therefore, beloved, since we have these promises, let us cleanse ourselves from everything that defiles the body and the spirit. So, the Bible, Paul is telling us, as, as, as this promise we have, let us make everything not to divide our body and the spirit. You know, there is a demon called defilement. Demon called defile, demon called polluting, demon called unclean. Now these they are they are there to come and divide you. So Paul said, make sure that don't don't divide, don't let it, don't let it happen. Because the, the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and God lives in your body. Now, when demons come and live in your body, God will not live there. The demon comes and, and he said that your, 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 your body is his is house. So he comes and lives there. So God can never use you. God will You can't see anything good when the demons are living in your body. When the enemy has come and, and, and sent the demons and live in your body. Therefore, I, the, the Bible says, the Bible says, therefore, beloved, since we have these promises, let this, let us Cleanse ourselves from everything. Let us cleanse. Let's ask the blood of Jesus to cleanse us. To cleanse us everything that divides our body. Everything that divides our body. We ask the blood of Jesus. We ask the fire of God to clean us from anything. Because there is these things that make the body to be divided. You are very faithful. You, you, you live in a good life. Here you have an unfaithful husband and faithful wife. And faith of children, and faith of place, place of work. People makes you to divide your body. People makes you to be divided. So when you find yourself in that situation, ask the blood of Jesus to, to cleanse you. Go for deliverance. Use the oil to anoint yourself. Drink the oil. Make sure you go to deliverance and, and cleanse your life from this divining spirit and demons. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. When you see yourself sex intercourse in the dreams, that is one of the, that is one that is one way of devouring. That is one way of of making you God making making God, making you go, your heaven to be pushed away from your blessings. Intercourse in, in sex intercourse sex in dream is not something that you can pray with or you can joke with. Some they think is good, they enjoy, they are happy. It is something that is defiling your, your body. It's a demon that has been bumped in your body to, to destroy your body. 
Therefore, you have to stand against them and condemn them and speak against whoever has come to you while you are sleeping. Even is your boyfriend, even is your girlfriend coming to have sex with you at night while you are sleeping. Those are the spirit called the spirit husband and the spirit wife. Don't allow them. You don't need dreams that you have dreams of sex while, at night. That is not good. It is bad. It is wicked and evil. When you must patient, you find yourself, you must patient yourself. You, be, you turn yourself a husband and a wife in the dream. You find yourself doing to yourself in the, in the dream. That is defiled. That is wicked and evil. So what you do, you command those fingers to catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. You command the owner. It is not you. That is the, the, the change you. They, they, they turn because they don't want you to know what is happening. They turn yourself. You, you do it to yourself. In the dream. They are bad. They make you to divide your body. And when you wake up, you feel shame and disgrace. What is this? What kind of this? Some people are going through this. Years and years. They have tried everything. They can't, they can't stop. I remember one person called me and told me that I don't know what, what I can do to this. Yeah? Person is molested, um, uh, masturbation, masturbation himself all the all the night. When he goes to bed, that is what he does. In his sleep, when he goes to sleep, that is what the man was doing. And then he has he does he doesn't have a wife, he doesn't have children. He he, he feels good, he is enjoying at sleep. When he sleep, he's not doing when he's when he's normal. After he's sleeping, when he go to bed like this, that is what is happening to him. And he enjoy, he does that. When he wake up, he feels his manhood pain. And he feels so sick. And he said, what can I do? Because he did very aggressive. Now he's burning. Even the manhood is swollen. That's how he was going through. That's the demons. You have to come against them. Many people are suffering because of that. People of God, you have to call for deliverance. You have to ask help. People to help you. If you are going to do such a problem you can you can dream about faces faces or faces all over you see faces 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 and everywhere where you walk everywhere you see when you go, you go to the toilet you see faces everywhere those are dividing those are wicked and evil the enemy is making you that you cannot be holy they are making you cannot. That's why they are attacking your prayer. You pray, pray, pray. Nothing is happening because you are you are unclaimed. You are unholy. Drinking that water in the dream, it is bad. They, that is sickness. They make you to drink water in the, in the that water. The, that is sickness. They are they are they are initiating. They are putting in your in your body in your blood. Now you will be having multiple sickness. You don't have to drink anything while you are sleeping. You, when you are sleeping, you are resting. You sleep a good sleep. You don't have to eat in sleeping. You don't have to, 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 to start drinking water, swimming in the water. That is make you unclean and defile you and you become dirty. Hallelujah. Seeing yourself naked, seeing yourself walking naked, wearing leg, legs, and those are dividing. Those are wicked and evil. The enemy is planning against your life. Your life. God hates the defilement. God hates that so much with the perfect hatred. Whatever polluted the temple of God, God shall destroy, and whatever, and, and we are the temple of God. Everything, every time a great miracle is coming, forces of development will wage war to prevent the miracle happening nobody can overgrow spiritual spiritual warfare no battle has been won without just a strong defense it is the time to attack and fight and defeat and and, 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 and defeat the forces of development it is the time to less up and fight and attack this spirit comes while you are sleeping that demons that strong man, that wicked power, that coming to fight you, coming to, to divide you, coming to destroy you at night while you are sleeping. It is the high time. It's war. You have to study war. If it is fasting and prayer, call me. My number is 
0302-3798. You need to prayer. You, you need to prayer. You need to pray. You need to prayer. Because you have been going through tough time. Every time you go to sleep, instead of sleeping, you are being tortured, being molested, being uh, 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 damaged by the wicked power of darkness, by witchcraft. Everything we are talking about is witchcraft. It's about the witchcraft. Satan is a big witch. So he transforms himself in a different way. He comes in a different way so that you don't identify him. Everything we are doing here is about Satan and witchcraft. Therefore, I pray that God Almighty will deliver you from the hands of the enemy. That is defiling you. That is polluting you. That is making your, the, the body of Christ to look dirty and nasty and, and stink. Set, uh, satanic agents who call in evil construction with the satanic intimidation for your sake. I command them to die, to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Sharing personal items, such as sharing uh, personal items. You know, you, you share such a uh, 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 sharing personal items. You know, some people, they share. It is, there is no wrong, there is, there is nothing wrong to share with your friends, with your sisters. But th these people... They are maybe polluted. They are defied. When you share with them the clothes, you share with them some stuff, they can make you to be defiled. They, when you share with them, uh, there's something I discover in the store. When you go to buy the store, in the clothes, in the store, you know people, they, they, they fit. They fit, they try their clothes, they fit. Some of them, they are wicked and evil, witchcraft, Satan. They are all of them, they are not good people. Now, when you get these clothes from the store, anoint them, uh, lay your hands there and speak the word of God. Say anything divine, anything in these clothes, I destroy. I set the fire of God in the name of Jesus. I command them to catch fire. No spirit, no demon from these clothes can affect my life, can affect me in Jesus' name. You try the clothes. And when you, even if you buy them, bring them and 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 bring, bring soak in the blood of Jesus. That is the the spirit of God refers to me that this 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 also it can come from there. Believe me, all in all, the demon, the the evil, they are using every method to attack you, to divide you, to make sure that the demons are, are not leaving you. The food we eat, all the food we eat, some of the foods they are dedicated to the demons, but. The, the, the Bible tells us, if you pray for them, it cannot affect you. Nothing will affect you. Don't eat your food without prayer. Bleed the blood of Jesus anywhere you get anything you eat. Water you drink, bleed the blood of Jesus. Because enemy has planned so wicked and wicked and evil. If they can't come through dreams, they come through those things I've mentioned. Therefore, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. Let the enemy be destroyed and be led and powerless in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. You know, I pray. You, you see, there are, there are evil feet and the evil hands walking about for your sake. I command them to be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. To be set fire and burned to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Father. I give you all the glory, Jesus. You are so good. You are wonderful. You are a worthy God. King of glory, I bless your name. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Yes, God, my Father and my God, I want to thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Partaking in funerals and burial, not cleansing yourself properly thereafter, uh, thereafter, you will, uh, con, con, you, will, you will carry demons. You know, uh, when uh, we don't refuse to go to the funeral, we don't refuse to bury our beloved one, we don't refuse to go to the funeral. When you attend to the funeral, when you come back, go to deliverance, mm -hmm. clean yourself. Because that is, they are, the demons, they are demons using the dead body. They are there. So even if it's your mother, your father, your child, that the person is dead has, been, has changed. It's not a human being now. It's a body. They call them a, the body. The body is body. So you have to clean yourself. 
That's why the whole testament was allowing people, even the prophet, not to, to, to see, not even to see. They were throwing them away and ran. So I pray that God will deliver you in Jesus' name. If you see dead people in your dreams, it means that they count you like one of them. You are already dead. Everything you do is dead. Therefore, you pray fire prayer and you command them to die, to be silenced in Jesus' name. We don't have anything to do with the death and with, with the death. We are the living. So death has nothing to do with us. They are the bodies. They are the spirit. Let them die and stay there permanent in Jesus' name. Yes, sending money for adulterate purpose, such as new yam, feso, all these uh, ancestral spirit celebration, marine fessels, and, uh, and, and these satanic dances, you have to, you, you don't have to send your money for such a, such a, such a ceremonies, because you are funding the enemy, and the enemy will come to you at night and torture you and, 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 and damage you seriously. Even the, the places you are going, you are, you are participating. You don't have participated in any hell places. You are a child of God. Your work is to pray. Your work is to kneel down and pray and, 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 and command anything that you don't want in the spiritual realm. They have to obey you and go in Jesus' name. Evil deposited, including witchcraft, ancestral, marine, and familiar spirits deposited in your body, I command them to catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Satanic programming, eat as of flesh and drink of blood, can pollute a person, and the person can become polluted. The blood and organ also, and drink the blood and eat the flesh. They are responsible cutting pit or in injecting. Some of you you find yourself being injected at, at night while you are sleeping. You see people coming to inject you. In, they inject you a lot of injection. Those are, they, they are injecting sickness, HIV, AIDS, these coronary diseases. They are very dangerous diseases that they have they are putting, they have, they, have, they have connecting you in, in, in your body. This, this one is all connected with sex. Now, when they, they pollute you, 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 some of you, you, that's the end of sleeping with a man or with a woman. You can never sleep with anybody. And you are not a virgin. They come at you and molested you. They come at you and, and sleep with you. They are very jealous. They come and inject you and pollute you and destroy you. And then themselves, they come and enjoy you. You have to come up, you have to have a war with them. You have to come against them and you need the deliverance. You need the prayer that will, will clean you and stop these activities of the enemy in Jesus' name. Yes, God, we thank you. Through bad dreams which allow the enemies to come in through various ways, including sex, food, gun shoot, arrows, evil rod and, and evil transmission through kisses, Hugs, hand sack, they allow snakes and lizards to come into through unholy kisses, hug. This will allow the enemy to, to come through. They allow snakes and lizards to come to in G, it, 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 they come to in your body. Yes, God is good. Blood of Jesus reverse every effect of every polluting pollution from the dream in Jesus' name. I pray the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus to clean you, blood of Jesus to wash you, Holy Ghost fire to clean you in Jesus' name. I ask the blood of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus to clean you now in Jesus' name. Every polluted demon that has been polluting your body, defiling your body, let the blood of Jesus clean you in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life, over your body, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, let Jesus Christ cleanse you in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power and the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. Eating in, in the dream, particularly eating and drinking dirty and unclean things. This is very serious. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be destroyed. Be landed powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. Sex in the dreams. This, regular, this regardless of even if you are involved or not. 
they are coming to affect you. They are coming to attack you. I command them to die. I cut them. I cut them into pieces in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every demon that is coming to have sex with you in the dreams. Dream sex in the uh, dream sex. I cut the honor. I cut the person to pieces. I cut them to pieces. I render them powerless. I destroy them in Jesus' name. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. That man, that woman, animals, wherever they are, that coming to molest you, that coming to, to abuse you, that coming to damage you, I cut them off. I destroy them. I bind them and I crush them in, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my God, I want to thank you, Father. I thank you, Jesus. You are good, God. Finding yourself or you are part of your body dirty. For example, your head, hands, and feet. That clothes or other possession. Uh, uh, needing to be washed. Defiling chest good things away from men it it makes people to become second class christian it chases away the glory of god from 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 failing such a such a lives it makes a person to become second hand it makes you you become daddy look at that i was talking with a lady yesterday beautiful lady beautiful lady if she can even even if she can contest she can become mrs canada but this woman, nobody loves her. Nobody talks her to her. She has been that. She's, she's almost at nine years. And nobody, no boyfriend, nothing. I said, look at yourself. You have education. You have everything. But now you have no boyfriend. Nobody loves you. You are depressed. And you are wondering, what is this? What did you do? Because of, and when I interview her, I ask her every question. She told me that is what is happening to her. And then I tell her, okay, you are married in the spiritual realm. The spirits have married you. Demon snakes have married you. They are now they can't you can't have anyone because they, they have taken they have taken they have taken you as their wife. Now, Jesus will help you. I told the woman Jesus is going to help you through deep deliverance. People, many people are suffering. They are suffering. Many people are suffering so much because of this demon that comes in your sleep. Dangerous time in sleep. They come and divide you and make and marry you in the spirit. Now you are in the spiritual realm. You are married. They wed you. They have children with you and you have no idea. I pray that anyone married in the spiritual realm, in the spirit of the world, let them die and let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Any power dividing the temple of God in your life, I command them to be scattered and be rendered powerless in Jesus' name. Any evil angel chasing good things away from you, be arrested and be destroyed in Jesus' name. The body, your body, your soul, your spirit, I command them to receive the fire of God and, and to, receive, to receive the fire of God in Jesus' name. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, receive the fire of God. Let your spirit, let your spirit, body, soul, to receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Anything that has been divided in your body, let it receive the fire of God. Let it receive the Holy Ghost fire. Let the blood of Jesus fall upon you and cleanse you in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Oh God, my Father. Message of Satan in your life. I command you to die. Every message of, your, of, of Satan in your life. Agents of Satan in your life. Let them die. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. I command them by fire, by thunder, by Holy Ghost. Let them die. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Every messenger of Satan assigned into your life, assigned into your children to come and pollute you, to come and divide them. Let them die, die in the name of Jesus. Let them die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Satanic authority attacking your life. I command them to die. Satanic authority attacking your life. Let them die in the name of Jesus. Evil yoke against your health. I command them to break, break in Jesus' name. Every as as every asno as asno protection. Let them catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God and my Father. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus. The the hands, 
the, the evil hands that pointing at you, the evil fingers that pointing at you, I command them to cut fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. I destroy them by fire. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I take the authority by fire, by thunder. Every evil finger, every evil hand pointing at you that I'm coming to you at night, protecting themselves to come and, and molest you at night. Let them die. Let them cut fire. Let them be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I thank God for that God is able to deliver you in Jesus name. Any, any power that is attacking your finances through this, through this dream, uh, dream attacks, let them die. Let them die in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, my God, my Father and my God, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank God and I pray that God will deliver you from demons of attack. Demon attacking you, witchcraft attack, this, uh, 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 spirit husband, spirit wife, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. I thank you, Jesus. I pray that God will deliver you. God will set you free. Anyone that is being tortured, anyone that is being tormented by this spirit, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I want to thank you. I bless your name. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I want to thank God for your life. Uh, if, you are, if you are the one who is going through difficult time at night, you have this demon that is coming to uh, uh, to uh, damage you, to, to abuse you, to, to, uh, to, to destroy your life. You call me. Call me. My number is seven. My number is 905-792-3798. I am here to pray with you and attack the enemy that is coming to destroy your life. Uh, it is dangerous time in, when, while you are sleeping. You don't know what is happening, what the enemy is doing to you. You wake up and you find yourself sick. You wake up when you, you find yourself no more, you, you are not yourself again. They have done everything at night. They have damaged you. They have, they have done everything. You wake up with hopeless powerlessness. Now I pray that God will deliver you in Jesus' name. Go to our website, www.overcomers.com dh ministry.blogspot.ca you can go there and see and plan your seat we have some videos there it can help you if this ministry is blessing you go and plan your seat to support our work yesterday i i, I saw a woman who was very bitter about pastors who saying plant the seat plant the seat give overing in the tv in the, in the in the internet she was so mad she was really mad mad really mad she was complaining and she had a lot of preparation you know the enemy is a liar he uses people to attack pastor to attack the work of god and the people and many people you know evil people are many than good people so those evil people they, they say yes yes and they don't know that they are digging their grave they are digging the grave they are burying themselves so don't worry. If you want to plant your seed, fine. If you don't, just keep quiet and leave it. God will help you in Jesus' name. I want to see people supporting our ministry, and I will pray for you. God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you tomorrow at the same time, 9 p.m. And also we have tonight, 9 a.m., we have popcorn and prayer line. You can join and pray and bring your prayer requests. I will be there and praying and teaching. We are dealing with teaching of finances, financial breakthrough. So you come and join us through popcorn or prayer line. If you need prayer line, you, you can always find it in our website and also Facebook everywhere. The prayer line is there and our numbers to reach me is there. God bless you so much. Have a wonderful time. See you then. This is your host, Prophetess 